as Anthony Joshua puts his heavyweight world titles on the line against mandatory challenger Alexander Usyk. Victory would move the former Olympic champion one step closer to the dream of becoming undisputed king and potentially an all-British unification bout with Tyson Fury. Sky's Jackie Beltrao caught up with a relaxed AJ earlier this week and started by asking what sort of a night he's expecting tonight. We're here for the biggest fight of the century. Saturday night, I'm expecting to come out, walk through that tunnel. 60,000 people swing, uh, singing Sweet Caroline. Uh, Usyk waiting in the ring. People singing his name, people singing my name. You know, the intro, Michael Buffer announcing, let's get ready to rumble. Fans going crazy, the first bell goes. It's such a beautiful sound. It's, uh, in the gym, it's normally a buzzer. If you know boxing, it's normally like a little buzzer that goes off in the gym. But that, that bell sound, ding, ding, ding. Round one is underway. Um, the lights are just shining on that ring. Everything around you is like black. It's dark. But it, the lights just shine on that ring and it's like, it's a phenomenal feeling, a really phenomenal feeling. Do you think people don't always give you credit for your boxing ability, given what you've achieved? Well, I, I never look at it like that. You know, well, look, there's 60,000 people coming out, so they must like something about what I'm doing. But I don't want to be, like, searching for so much love. I just hope people appreciate boxing as a whole, the whole undercard, me. It's going to be a good night of boxing. Um, underrated, overrated, valued. At least certain people value. I think, let's not focus on the negative about the people that don't value what I do. I like to focus on people that do value what I do. How do you deal with fight night itself? You know, obviously there's pressure, but you always look relaxed. But when you wake up in the morning, do you have butterflies? Are you excited? Or is it just something to get through and execute well? When, talk us through the day. So you, you start with visualization from training camp, putting yourself in that scenario mentally. So when you kind of wake up, look, no matter how you feel, no matter how you feel, tired, achy, um, I, I go in, I know sparring isn't the opponent, but there's times when I've got to go in and I've got four or five guys waiting to spar me and I may not feel 100%, but the, the ultimate thing is I get out the other end. I always perform, I go there, and on fight night, your adrenaline, whether you've got a headache, you've got a bad foot, a bad hand, whatever it may be, uh, the environment just overtakes you and makes you feel at ease. Like You just feel like there's nothing else that matters in the world right now except for this event that's going on. But do you feel, when you wake up in the morning, do you feel a little bit nervous? Or were you totally calm all the time? Well, oh, well, before, before I used to get nervous. It was like, oh, fight day's here. You know, when you're driving to the arena, you know, like when I was um, at the O2 yesterday, it, it hit home. It's like, wow, I remember when I used to fight here, like, this is, this is serious. Like, I used to pull up here nervous, but do you know what's, do you know what's amazing about life is um, tomorrow always comes. No matter what happens today, tomorrow will always come. And this isn't forever. It just happens to be a part of my life now. And uh, it will all be done one day. So I try not to get too bent up over it because we're all going through this process where today comes, tomorrow comes, and we just keep on going. Saturday will, be, Saturday will come and Sunday will be here in the blink of an eye. Whatever happens. And um, you're an inspirational figure for so many people. And we've all gone through a really strange time in the last yeah, yeah, yeah. 18 months. Yeah. What has inspired you or who's inspired you in this time to push on? Who's been your inspiration? Can you think of anything? Who's inspired me to push on? I don't know, was it the Olympics? Was it watching some other sporting person? No your, 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 your little boy? No one. <laughs> no one. Everything. All of it. All of it. Just life in general. You know, look, we're all here for a certain amount of time. We're blessed. You know, we could have been born in a... I was watching something where I was like, if you was born in like the 40s, you just finished World War I, then the Spanish flu here, and this war and that. So they, we're just blessed to be here. Water, lights, simple things. I can't complain. So uh, not much, I don't actually need much to keep me motivated when I look around. Like, what am I going to complain about? My, my delivery came an hour late. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? Like, I can't complain in, in this uh, environment that we're blessed with. There's not much to complain about. To have the fans back, finally, what does that mean? For me, it's, it just it makes me humble because in a way that I just got to dedicate myself to the craft so I can go out there and perform for, uh, 
all these fans that come out. I don't take it for granted. It's not like I've ticked that box, like forget it. Now I'm happy. I've done what I've had to do. Um, I fought in front of X amount of people. I actually look at it and I'm like, boy, I need to make sure I practice and I work hard because I want to give these guys value. You know what I mean? So I, that's how I pay them back, honestly. With, with I really try. I really try hard. Um, I've got certain strengths. I've got certain weaknesses, but I definitely push so I can get better, so I can pay these guys back who come out. There's your motivation, the fans. The, the fa yeah, yeah, yeah. They've been a big motivation. Yeah, because I worked all the way through the pandemic and uh, I, I fought December 12th and I know on Christmas Day, New Year's Day, I was in the gym training. So that's probably the way I do pay them back. That's my motivation, yeah. AJ, good luck. Respect. Have a great fight. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> Tonight is the night.